Hey guys, we are doing page 174 and 175. Um, there's going to be a test um, coming up and you're going to need to know some things. Um, anything that we're doing on these two pages, you will see on your test or you could see on your test at least, so make sure. Um, uh, if you're struggling with a certain area, you might want to take a little bit of extra time uh, tomorrow, maybe uh, focus really hard on those areas. Um, and then also, uh, this is not on these two pages, but you're really going to want to know um, different things about the dictionary, like the guide words, uh, the entry word, like what those things are. When you look something up in the dictionary, you find the definition, you're gonna to want to know that. And when you uh, look a word up in the dictionary, uh, what kind of things do you find? Do you find the word, the pronunciation, the definition, the part of speech, um, maybe, uh, maybe example sentences, things like that. So make sure you know those things about the dictionary on top of what we're doing in the book today. On page 174, uh, remember A and think B. Um, we're just doing number one and number two of each of those. So remember A, think, or remember A, one and two, and think B, one and two. Um, I'm not going to do those uh, with you because the first one is just finding uh, alphabetical order, and I think you should be able to do that on your own. And the other one is um, entry words, like uh, for example, number one in think B. Uh, you have the word inflate. Well, you just need to. They give you the three different entry, enter, and, um, the three different uh, guide words that would be like at the top of the page on the dictionary. So infield, inform, inhale, island, and illustrate and imitate. Which of those would be at the top of the page if you were looking for the word inflate? So that's kind of the idea you're going uh, for there. And that's all you're doing on page 174, 175. Remember A, we're doing the odd numbers, so one, three, five, seven, nine. And then remember B, we're doing the even numbers, so two, four, and six. I'm not really going to do remember B with you uh, because I feel like you really could do that on your own. Um, so you're just uh, putting the ER, EST, or more or most, and then also keeping an eye on good, better, best, and wor bad, worse, and worst. Uh, making sure you're keeping those things in mind. So let's go ahead and look at remember A. I have three of those sentences on the board, so you're going to have to do two of those on your own. You will see a section like this on your test, so make sure you're familiar with your proofreader's marks. So let's go ahead and start. This is number one right here. Dad said, I need two boys to help me this weekend. So, uh, first word of the sentence is already capitalized, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, dad said, comma. Well, I know that if I see someone said or someone asked, someone replied or something like that, I know that I'm going to have a direct quote, especially if you see a comma right there. A direct quote. A direct quote is the exact words that come out of someone's mouth. And if I'm telling you the exact words that are coming out of someone's mouth, I'm telling you the direct quote. I need quotation marks around what they are saying. So what is dad saying in this sentence? Well, he's saying, I need two boys to help me this weekend. Those are the exact words that dad said. So I'm gonna put, per, or not parentheses, um, quotation marks around what dad said. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some right here, put that insert mark right there to show that I'm inserting quotation marks. And then at the end of the sentence, Make sure you're not inserting between the word weekend and the period. You're doing it after that period. So put your insert mark after the period and put your quotation marks there as well. And um, let me see, dad said I need two boys to help me this weekend. I don't really see anything misspelled. I don't think anything needs to be lowercase and nothing needs to be deleted. Nothing else needs to be capitalized. It was really just those quotation marks that really, really needed to be in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Now this is not sentence three. I skipped sentence three. I want you to do sentence three on your own. Uh, but this is sentence five. Dad and I will wash the outside of the car. And you may have noticed first word of the sentence is not capitalized. That of course is a problem. 
needs to be capitalized. So underline dad three times. And dad and I, well, the word I always needs to be capitalized. So underline that three times. Dad and I will wash the outside of the car. Is sentence, it needs something at the end of the sentence. It needs end mark. Which end mark are we going to use? Well, probably a period would be the best here. It's just a declarative sentence. So we'll put an insert mark with a period right there. And the word car is capitalized. Why is the word car capitalized? Well, is there any rule about the car? The word car being capitalized? It's not a specific person, place, or thing. It's not a day of the week, month of the year, season. It's not uh, the name of a person. It's not, um, there's a whole bunch of other rules. Go through your rules and look at your rules. That would be a really good idea to be ready for tomorrow going over your uh, capitalization rules, going over your rules about your periods, like using them with, um, of course, at the end of sentences, but also with abbreviations, um, your comma rules, uh, knowing when to use commas, th that would be a very good idea. But the word car does not need to be capitalized. So I'm going to cross out that C, and above it put LC. Do you remember what LC stands for? It, right, it stands for lowercase. So that's why we're going to do that there. And that looks like that will be everything for this sentence as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one now. This was sentence one, we didn't do three. This is sentence five, I didn't do seven. So this is sentence nine right here. So we love to camp with our family. Good sentence, first word is already capitalized, so that's good. I need an end mark at the end of the sentence, so let's go ahead and add that. We love to camp with our family. It's a declarative sentence, so let's put a period at the end of that. So go over here to the end of our sentence, put a period, insert mark to show that I am putting in a period. And there is a word in the sentence that is misspelled. Can you find the word in the sentence that is misspelled? We love to camp with our family. Right, the word with, with, and it has a th sound at the end. That doesn't say with, it says wit. So that's not correct. So above the word with, it's supposed to be with, just go ahead and put the letters S, P, to show that it is spelled incorrectly. And that should be everything for this sentence as well. So you only have two more sentences in Think A. Go ahead and, uh, again, to page 74, that, uh, the exercise A and B, just one and two of both of those. Uh, finish up those two other sentences on page 175 from the top of uh, exercise. And then also remember B, you're just doing the even numbers, so two, four, and six. And make sure that you're also getting ready for your language test coming up.